And now our, our, our message from our social justice uh, committee, uh, Our Time Is Now by Ellen Higdon. Hi, as a member of our social justice committee, I was asked to speak for a few minutes on a person of color whom I admire. I chose to honor a role model who is my hero and who is still alive and making history today. She is Stacey Abrams. Stacey Yvonne Abrams is an American politician, lawyer, voting rights activist, and author who served in the Georgia House of Representatives from 2007 to 2017, serving as minority leader for six of those 10 years. She ran for the governor of Georgia in 2018, but was beaten by Brian Kemp former Secretary of State, who was in charge of said election. When she lost, she cited the purging of 1.6 million voters from their voter registration rolls from 2010 to 2018, including one woman in her 90s who had voted in all elections since the 60s. Also, long lines at polls forcing 30,000 voters to vote provisionally, most of which did not count, and 100,000 votes which went missing due to faulty voting machines, especially in communities of color, as some of the voter suppression methods which caused her to lose by less than 55,000 votes. In very simple math, she lost by many fewer votes than I just um, tabulated. She gave a non-concession speech, which if you haven't heard it, I strongly um, urge you to listen to at least once. She eloquently thanked all who worked on her behalf, all those who stood up for voters' rights, public education, and other civil rights goals. She said voting was not a right for some, but a right for all. She said Brian Kemp would be certified because he pinned his election hopes on voter suppression, and she found that appalling. She didn't want to scheme her way into office because the election was about voters, not about her. She announced that now they all knew what was broken in the system and it was time for action. And that is exactly what she took. She founded Fair Fight Action, a group whose mission was to ensure that every American has a voice in our elections. And I, I think this is why I, I was so impressed by her is that it wasn't about her, it was about the system. And rather than um, fight the system, she said, it's gonna change and I'm gonna be a part of that. This organization funded and trained voter protection teams in 20 battleground states. They trained and hired young people of color to tackle social issues. She also founded Fair Count to ensure accuracy in the 2020 census. She's written political books. One is Lead from the Outside and Our Time is Now. Also, she's written several romantic thrillers under the pen name of Selena Montgomery. And I put that on my to read list. I hear they're pretty good. Due to her hard, hard work, her organization registered 800,000 new voters in Georgia and flipped her state blue for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Not only that, but she was able to repeat this amazing success and help get both Democratic senators elected, John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. Hooray for justice, hooray for Stacey Abrams, a true American civil rights leader for today. I can't wait to see what she's tackling next. <laughs> 